That's the first time I've heard the bell. There must be something on here. <laughs> For a second I thought I'd caught a kayak. That was awesome. Emerald Lake is heartwarming and always welcomes the weary traveller. Head over there for a few days to explore this waterway's marvellous possibilities. Catch some trophy pike. Oh my god. Pike scare the hell out of me. Conquer the ferocious wall walleye at night time and explore the lake's aquatic splendour on a kayak. But do all of this, you'll have to get an advanced fishing licence. Let's go get a license for Emerald Lake. New, 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 new York. 2000. Holy mackerel. 9 to 11 p.m. 3 to 5 a.m. Emerald Pathfinder. Oh, nice. Rent a kayak. To explore the calm deep waters of Emerald Lake and see its marvellous aquatic world from an entirely different perspective. Travelling in a kayak will take up your energy, take up you energy, typo, and the faster you go the more tired you will become. Try to use your energy wisely for a better navigation experience. Interesting. Oh cool. There's the kayak. There's a little boat there as well. Uh, interact rent for five hundred pounds. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Watch my stamina indicator. Move closer to the fishing spot. Okay, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. The rent will expire in 23 hours and 53 minutes. So if I'm on the kayak when that timer runs out, do I just end up in the water? Okay, move to the marked spot and drop the anchor. Wow, we don't have a lot of stamina, do we? It runs out pretty darn quickly. We don't seem to be going that much slower. Okay, dude, apologies. Mr. Pep G... I need to sneak in alongside you. Oh, do you know what? I like how you don't just stop. I like how it keeps going a little bit. I'm not sure where that dude went, but okay. Right. What a wonderful trip. You mastered navigation and paddling a kayak. Now you can easily get to a remote, any remote spots on a waterway and catch fish that was unreachable before. I'm going to buy my own kayak. This is cool. Fishing from the shore is only a part of the much bigger fishing experience. Try to catch fish directly from your kayak. Make sure to anchor to avoid being dragged by a large fish onto a sunken log or boulder. Can that happen? Keep in mind that boat fishing requires having an advanced license. Press R to take out my tackle. It's a bit rude. Pay attention to the water surface. Active fish express themselves, express themselves with... Uh, splashing, jumping and bubbling. So I can put a rest on this kayak as well. I see it. I see some movement over there. Okay, 4.4 pound of fish in my keep net. So I wasn't sure there was a fish on the end of that, but there is. It's a golden shiner. Nice. We'll keep that. This might not be the appropriate technique, but we caught a fish using this style of fishing just now. So, uh, I'm going to give it a go. Hmm, I can't really get over there. Get 
in amongst the reeds. Look at that. Looks like it's caught up on the reeds. There we go. No? I've got to say, this is not quite as exciting. This trout fishing. <sighs> it's still cool. I'm not so a fay with this kind of fishing. I have done lead fishing before, but in fact, I used to do a lot of lead fishing, but I don't think I was very successful. Something dingling then, didn't it? That's the first time I've heard the bell. There must be something on here. <laughs> For a second, I thought I'd caught a kayak. Oh, a black crappie. Nice. Nice. Predators like to lurk closer to cover, like around reeds of vegetation, as well as sunken logs. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Uh, okay, how do I put my rod away? Oh, that's cool. I've just learnt that. How do I put my rod away? Um, X? I don't know how to move my... How do I move the bloody kayak? You're going to have to tell me, game. I don't know. Mm, that was weird. <sighs> oh, I'm going to have to go get a cup of tea at this rate. <sighs> Maybe a coffee. Oh, ah, mmm. Nice. Oh, I can get rid of the HUD. Oh, that's good. I like that. Huge amounts. Oh my god, there's a dragonfly on the end of my flipping... Look at that! That's mental. How cool was that? Landed on the end of my rod, man. Okay. Uh, it's going to be tricky to cast without the HUD, isn't it? Fell a little bit short, but okay. Talk about added realism. Oh! Definitely heard something then. And this will be the first fish, if I catch it. Ah, look at that! That's the first fish I have caught with um, with no HUD. I'm quite impressed with that as well. So I was looking at the help thing to figure out what? Are you kidding me? I've caught a fish. I was just reeling in. I wasn't even looking. The strike was done too early. Oh, you say that. Uh, yeah, there's nothing on the end of it now. So if I go to my inventory um, and put something... Is that going to help? Is that the whole point of this, is to teach me this fact? Gonna be here a long time. Gonna be here a very long time. Oh, maybe not. These are just tiddlers. Be patient and always complete your retrieve because a fish might attack at the very last moment. I think I, I'm doing exactly that, aren't I? Oh, I've clipped it. That's what. That's cool. So I can clip that there. And then um, I'll hit that. I'll be able to hit that spot almost exactly every time. That's cool. And I'm not sure I want to hit that spot. I kind of want to go 
Perfect. Ah, oh, the strike was done too early. Let's try that again. Did I clip? I think I've clipped. Clipped at 123 feet. So I should be able to hit that exact same spot again. Not strike quite so early this time. So reload. There's a bit of pull on the line. I think I'm in the reeds. Now, the way that that's sinking makes me feel like the line is still caught in, on the reeds. Yeah, look. Water lily. <laughs> you can keep it. I think we'll discard it. That's really awesome. That's that's actually really awesome. Emerald Junk Catcher 1. Catch a certain number of underwater items. What else is under the water then? That was really cool. I like that. That's a great feature to the game. I obviously didn't give the online version enough time. If this all this was in it, maybe you didn't get access to all this stuff without buying the DLC, I don't know. What a great game this is. I think we're in the reeds again. I can see fish just to the left of it there. Not getting a thing. So now I'm playing too much like a gamer. So used to the game giving me a fish every 20 seconds. I'm like, oh, no fish. <laughs> All right, do you know what? Let's stick this back on. I don't think it's going to do any harm, is it? It's just going to attract more fish, hopefully. I may have clipped it too short. Let's reel in. We'll drop another one there. It's not going to hurt, is it? Take the clip off. Make sure we get exactly where we want to be, right in the reeds. I want to be right there. That was a shocking, shocking attempt. Let's try that again. Without being a complete moron. I cannot seem to turn the clip off. I see ya. Already? Nice. Oh. Oh, what do we have here? A black crappy. New personal record. Nice. Half a pound. Don't get stuck on one fishing spot for long, especially if you have already made a few catches there. Okay. The problem is, we haven't been getting much luck anywhere else, to be honest. Oh, I think we've got one. Definitely a bit of interest. See if we get any better luck over here. I've removed the clip. Oh, I can see some fish right by, right by us. Okay, so if we raise the anchor, Oh, uh, if I, hmm, how do I, F11, how do I, how do I move? Right, let's, let's, let's cast in. Oh, that was definitely a nibble, right? Something on this. No. There's something on this. A blunt nose minnow. Ah, we'll keep you. Because we're in desperate need of uh, catching some fish. Oh. I love the bell. The bell's awesome. 
changed my life. There's not a fish on that, is there? What's the problem with these fish? Is there any little? Oh, nearly lost this one though. Hey, a golden shiner, new personal record. That's a bit better. That's nearly half a pound. Oh, I see a spot. That looks like prime right there. Take up the slack. Feeling rather confident about this position. Dragonfly. Okay, I've no idea how to move this kayak. How do I put the rod away? It was R. Okay, so raise. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, I think we're happy with that. Drop the anchor. Let's see if we can catch this bad boy. We know he's over there somewhere. Ham salad roll for lunch. Very nice. Sorry, not a roll, a wrap. He's right there, isn't he? What is that? A line must be caught. Yeah, that's definitely caught on something. Probably that tree. Can you hear the line? Whatever it is, I don't think we're going to get free of it. Last. The leader was broken. Please select another rod. Another rod? Bugger. Okay, we could try a different rod, I suppose. A bit of fly. Let's try this. Who knows? Who knows what we can achieve? Oh, we got something. We got something. Yeah, come on. What's this? What have we got on here? Feels like a proper fish. Yes. That's more like it. What have we got? Oh, wow. A northern pike. It's a young one. We can't release it because we need the weight. But yes, that was the right move. That was awesome. Very happy about that. You're kidding me. We're on something already. No way. A crayfish. Good God. Would you believe that? Oh, we can't keep that. Hello. I think we're in here. 1.1 pound and we are laughing. And this bad boy... It feels like he's got a bit of weight to him. Oh, yes. Nearly a whole pound. Young Northern Pike. I used to go fishing for these uh, back in the canals. I'm glad I never caught one. Because they do freak me out a bit. Those teeth. Look at those teeth. Oh, God. 
Oh, we did it. Put away my tackle. Nice. Excellent. Job done. Wonderful. You caught plenty of fish, but don't ju just stop yet. Don't stop just yet. Keep perfecting your skill to quickly evolve and become a pro. Use the narrow spoon and try catching a salga. These fish like to stay close to the edge of underwater holes and will eagerly bite lure on the fall or a lift and drop retrieve. A lift and drop retrieve. This retrieve imitates behaviour of small fish that usually search for food close to the bottom are an easy target for predators. A narrow spoon, huh? Go to the pier. Alrighty. That was fun. I enjoyed that. That was a good fishing experience. Even though I lost a bit of stuff. Lost a bit of kit. I think that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> 